Watching new developments tonight in the fiery religious dispute that's brought national attention to the normally quiet Hasidic community of New Square. Tonight, the Grand Rabbi is firing back, asking a judge to throw out the lawsuit that alleges he ordered a man to be set on fire for not worshiping at his synagogue. News 12's Lydia Weekai joins us with more. Lydia. Suzanne, the rabbi's lawyer, says there is no factual basis that he had anything to do with the attack on Rottenberg. But Rottenberg and his lawyer have been adamant that the rabbi played an integral part and should be held accountable. His body, now forever scarred after a firebomb exploded in his arms. Aaron Rottenberg continues to recover from burns that cover now half of him. This is what he said of his ordeal in an exclusive News 12 interview last month. Excruciating, terrible, terrible. Then they took from my upper thighs donor sites for skin graft. It was also so painful. Also painful is the reason for the senseless attack. Rottenberg believes Shaw Spitzer set him on fire all because Rottenberg yeah. didn't worship at New Square's main synagogue, infuriating Grand Rabbi David Twersky. It's why the Rottenbergs are suing Spitzer and Twersky for $18 million. A civil lawsuit Twersky has now asked a state judge to throw out. I don't know if he said burn down the house, but it's definitely that he wanted that I shouldn't continue going and that I should move out of there. And they did whatever they felt like doing in order to enforce what he wants them to enforce. Tversky's attorney argues that Rottenberg has, quote, no factual basis that he was ever involved in the attack. Tversky knows Spitzer because the 18-year-old was his butler and lived in his home. Rottenberg's attorney says it's these facts and more that prove Tversky played a part in what happened. Can't have an authoritarian community where everyone takes that man's word as the Bible, which they do. That's the nature, the defining nature of their community. Sussman has also filed a similar separate lawsuit against Curious Joel, claiming religious discrimination there as well. Meanwhile, Spitzer has been charged with arson and attempted murder and remains free on bail.